Hey guys, Chris here, and this is the beautiful Merriam. We're from Aussie Destinations Unknown. We're gonna do a bit of a video for you guys on our Enerdry power system. Now this is in collaboration with Caravan RV Campings. It's pretty cool. All the products that we're gonna show you are available on the website, caravanrvcamping.com.au. We're gonna give you a bit of a run through, show you the appliances that we use using the Enerdry products, and we're also gonna give you an exclusive discount code where you can get a discount off the yes. products from caravanrvcamping.com.au. So let's take you inside and let's have a look. Let's have a look. <laughs> There are plenty of inverters on the market with different features, different specifications, and of course, different price ranges. We are running the 2000 watt inverter, but sadly, this inverter does not run my air fryer. But we're upgrading to the 2600 one, remember? We are upgrading. 2600 inverter will be installed very shortly, so you can run your air fryer. I'm very excited So about that'll be that. everything. We'll be able to run everything then. <laughs> yeah. Should so be the, really good. The reason I'm sharing this with you is that one system does not suit everybody's needs. So jump onto Caravan RV Camping, have a little look and see what's available, see what's there. It doesn't have to be a system like ours. It could just be maybe solar panels or battery bundles or, yeah, or just or some little componentry for a bit of a DIY, DIY uh, installation. Build your own. Build your own, yes. <laughs> yeah, so jump on the website, have a little bit of a look and do not forget to use our discount code when you make your purchase. The uh, Enerdry power system is all located under the lounge. We'll pull everything apart so you have a bit of a squeeze at it. Ta-da! Our system here, it comprises of two 200 amp lithium VTEC batteries. Now these are connected in parallel. Look, this is proving to be a very popular off-grid camping system. Lithium batteries are obviously lighter and smaller in comparison to, the, to your AGM batteries. The weight and size is obviously a big issue when it comes to vans like this. This board comes pre-wired from Enerdry themselves. Um, look, it just makes it very easy from an installation point of view. It all comes with the 2000 watt inverter the DC to DC charger and the AC charger. Let's just go through it all so you can see exactly what's going on here. So this is the inverter, it's the ePower 2000 watt inverter. Now look, these come built in with the RCD and the AC transfer switch. The RCD is exactly the same as the one you have in your switchboard at home. Transfer switch that is built into this inverter is very clever in itself. Look, it's designed to switch from our battery power into 240, no worries. So if we were to pull up at a caravan park somewhere, all we'd have to do is put our lead into the side of the van and it will seamlessly switch all our power points over to 240. This is our DC to DC charger. Now this will automatically switch on when we hook the car up to the caravan and we're towing down the road. It also has a built-in MPPT solar controller. Now this regulates all the solar uh, coming from the panels on the roof and we'll charge the batteries. And this is our AC charger. So when we're plugged into mains or have a generator plugged in, this will do all our charging for us. And on the roof, we have four 180 watt solar panels. So this gives us a total of 720 watts of solar input. We monitor all this through the Sign Marine monitoring system, which I'll show you right now. Okay, so I'll give you a quick rundown on our Sign Marine monitoring system. So our main page gives us our state of charge, our time, our date, and our hours till we are fully charged, or if we're drawing power, it'll give us um, how many hours we have left on discharge. If we go to the next page, we have all our loads. Up the top here, we have our solar coming in now, which is putting it in about 26.6 amps. And then we have the Chevy there. That'll give us our charge when the uh, car is hooked up. We have our fridge load, which is currently drawing barely anything because it's sitting there closed. We have all our common loads, which is our pump, our lights, and all our general loads. And then we have our total power that is either coming in or coming out. Because it's blue now, which means there's power coming in. So we've got about 20 amps coming in now with everything running. We go to the next screen, that'll give us all our uh, water uh, tank levels. So tank one freshwater large is actually two tanks combined. So we have 59% left, we have 101 litres. Then we have our designated drinking water tank that is still at 100% at 65 litres. We need to drink some more water, honey, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then we go over to our next, which is one tank on its own again. We have 49% at 41 litres. Then we have our grey water tank. So this will tell us that we have 59% left and we got 50 litres in there. We'll go to our next one, which is our temperature of inside where all the componentry is. It's good to keep an eye on this to make sure everything's right. And then we have our pitch and our roll. Now this gives us um, our angles of the caravan to make sure we're nice and level. We can level this up with our airbags quite easily. And then if we come through to our barograph, we don't really use that one. So let's just skip back to our main screen. Let's uh, get some real life situations happening here. We'll flick a few of the 240 appliances on through the inverter. Bear in mind that we have been here for about four days and had 
epic sunshine, but now it's a bit cloudy and gloomy. Okay, so I've given you a full rundown on the system and all the technical parts of it all. Now let's switch over to the beautiful Merriam Mace, where we'll get a few appliances running. Thank you so much for that lovely introduction. Now with 720 watts of solar on the roof and this Enerdrive battery system, let's have a little bit of a look at the loads we can run. So all of our 12 volt appliances are connected to the battery system with the big one being this 224 litre Dometic fridge we've got here. Now this draws about three amps per hour, 72 per day, which is not a huge load coming out of those batteries. We run all of our USB outlets for device charging, the water pump, we've got the range hood, the carafan, Sirocco fan, TV, all the lighting all runs off the battery system. The huge advantage of our system is that we can run 240 volt loads. This means washing machine, thermomix, uh, microwave, air conditioner, and of course, Chris is over here going tap, tap, tap on his coffee machine. <laughs> coffee machine gets the workout every morning. I hear Chris flick the cupboard open, turn the inverter on, and not long after the whole van smells like coffee. He would say this is probably the most important appliance. I beg to differ. I tend to thermomix definitely the most important appliance. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to use. It's open the door, <laughs> push the button here, and after a few seconds, you will notice that the microwave will come on and the air conditioner will kind of light up. And that's it. All of our 240 volt appliances can now be used as if you were at home or plugged into power in a caravan park. To show you where we are right now, we are not connected to power. We are not in a caravan park. We're actually in paradise. Come and have a look. a lot of people will agree with me that the coffee machine is the number one appliance in the caravan. So we've switched the inverter on, so we'll just press the button and we will get some gorgeous coffee coming out of the machine. Then we'll come up to here. So you can see the bottom one is your total power. So it's fluctuating between about 100 and about 10 amps. Bear in mind we're putting in 20 amps of solar. So very efficient for about a 30 second coffee machine. I don't drink coffee, I can't use a coffee machine to make my tea or to reheat my tea, so I use the microwave. I simply pop the cup of water inside, push start just like you would at home, and then come across here and we'll see how much power this is drawing. So this one is drawing 115, it's consistent, it doesn't go up and down like the coffee machine or the thermomix, but something also to take note of is how much solar is coming in at the top there. So today we've got 23 coming in. It's quite cloudy, but yesterday in full sun, I think we had about 38. So we get between 35 and 40 in full sun. And uh, yeah, as you can see, 23 with cloud cover and a bit of drizzle like what's happening outside today. Okay, so this is actually a really hot topic and we get thousands of questions about this all the time. And the question is, can you run your air conditioning off a battery system? The answer is yes, absolutely. We run ours no worries off our Enerdrive lithium battery system. Bear in mind guys, look, this is not something that you're gonna run all day, all night. It's simply just to keep the van nice and cool and comfortable in the middle of the day. Maybe about a three or four hour period, shut all your windows, shut the door and uh, make it nice and comfortable. Also depends on how much solar is coming in as well. So look, let's just um, run through. So we got it set on 16 degrees now. You can see it's cooling. We got it at about a medium fan. So 16 degrees, the compressor's running flat out to really work and working hard. Let's see how much we got happening here. So at the moment, we are at about 57 amps in deficit, taking into consideration that we uh, only have 16 amps at the moment. A big cloud has come over. So we've, we've worked out that the aircon will use about 60 amps total drawage. So if we've got about 30 or 40 amps coming in, we're really only about 30 amp deficit. Um, in the system, so hence why you can run it for three to four hour period, not a problem at all. And now to the most important appliance in the caravan, which is obviously the Thermomix. I think Chris would have to deep down agree with me. He does love food. Now I've set this to 10 minutes, 100 degrees speed two. We've got two minutes remaining. It's at 100 degrees. You can see that it's steaming. And if we come up here to the Cymarine, we can see that it's drawing between 70 or oh, seven and 70. So this is during the heating cycle. So if you do use the Thermomix while you're not heating something, it's obviously gonna use much less power. 
but we could run this for another four hours and 50 minutes if we really wanted to. <laughs> and that's our system, but as for your particular RV or caravan, you can opt for a pre-wired system like ours, or you can head over to Caravan RV Camping and check out one of their Enerdrive battery bundles. Look, there are heaps of variations to choose from, including batteries, solar panels, uh, charges and monitoring systems to suit your particular rig. And don't forget our exclusive discount code available on all purchases <laughs> made through Caravan RV Camping to do with Enerdrive. Yoo-hoo! <laughs>